Okay, so we're working in the shop tonight on our project orange crate. That's this little Datsun right here. It's a 68 Datsun 1600, and I've been doing a little detailing on it. And some fellow was asking me, when am I going to show another video of this Datsun? So here you go. So as you can see, uh, in one of the last videos, right here on these emblems, uh, this was all bonded over. There was nothing there. I had to find the holes, drill the holes, and then I restored the emblems. You can see, well, you can see how shiny the fender is for one thing. I buffed the fender. I buffed it beforehand knowing I'm put the emblems on because it's really hard to buff around all the intricate little details of those emblems. So this fender is way shinier than the rest of the car. You may be able to tell that. I don't know. And then I detailed the emblems. In other words, I painted the black around the outside. I polished the chrome uh, outlining and new white on the inside and then baked it in my Betty Crocker oven. That is right. I do have a Betty Crocker oven in the shop and I use it from time to time for little projects like this. So anyhow, I'm pretty happy with the way that came out. Um, so there's a set of, of emblems there. And then same thing, I buffed this fender and our emblems are on here. And I didn't realize it, but the emblems need to go there as well. So I buffed that panel. This was completely bonded over as well. There was no holes. I found them, drilled them out, and I think it adds a nice little touch. And while we're in the back of the car here, you'll notice I got my rack on. I also buffed, you can see the difference. Look, look at the difference between the, uh, I don't know, the filler panel there and the trunk. This paint is single stage. It's not very great paint, but it does buff out pretty good. Look at the difference there in the shine. Um, so I buffed that trunk really good and then painted the rack. It was already black. I wish it was still chrome. I think it's stainless steel, but it is what it is. Found some hardware and bolted it on there, and it looks pretty good. I started thinking I might have it on backwards, but I think that the high end goes toward the back to keep the luggage on. So that is something I completed tonight. And then if you recall from a couple videos ago, I got locked in the car. I couldn't get out. So I had to do a little surgery here to fix the latch. And now I can get in and out of the car. And I've got to do that to the other side as well. The other side's missing. Oh, and while we're on the inside of the car, I found the console. This is the center stack. You can see the radio is, um, I guess you call that a vertical radio? Yeah, it'd be a vertical radio. Um, but mostly I need the choke. It's cold outside. And this has a real special choke. It's got dual carburetors, so when you pull the choke knob, it actuates two separate choke cables, one for each SU carburetor. Kind of specific. I needed that fan. Let's see, we got a fan here. We got the four-way flashers. I'm not sure what that is. And the radio. So I'm going to clean this up. It's pretty rusted and crusted. And that goes between the seats right here. And then this amp gauge here, that's going away. I bonk my knee on that every time I get in the car. So just doing a little detailing on the orange crate, Project Orange Crate. It's a neat little car. Although my plan is to drive this thing for the summer, enjoy it, top off. I'm probably going to sell it at the end of the summer. I, uh, I have so many projects and I feel like I'm missing out on this microcar project. So this Datsun may have to go so that I have time and space and energy to work on something else. Anyhow, that's the update on Project Orange Crate. Little by little, we're getting there. Thanks for watching.